think it's reasonable to assume that in higher education we would want to know are our programs effective or not and how do we establish that if we all have a different measure. What we have not been doing a very good job of is looking across institutions. So this really provides the opportunity to ask questions, to ask inquiry questions about particular aspects of programs that would enable us to know sort of what are the features of really high quality teacher preparation programs that are moving the needle. Every time we're um, looking at data at Relay, there's always the question that comes up of, well, how does this compare to other institutions? So I think we would be moving in the right direction to arrive at that profile of what a brand new teacher coming out of a educator preparation program should know and be able to do. We're talking with one another in a way that I don't think has happened in the past. That's helping to advance the field. How can we work together to transform the field, program improvement for all? You know, you can change something based on your own data and see that, oh, well, that didn't work. And, you know, five years down the road, try to change another group of candidates. But if you have data across institutions, you can then really dig into what are the features of these programs? What are they doing? Who are they hiring? You know, who's teaching those classes? Having that kind of widespread common data um, across multiple institutions and multiple programs it gives credibility. Uh, I believe that, again, we would be moving in, in the right path if we do all this with the uh, ultimate purpose of program improvement. We're all working towards a common goal, which is to better prepare teachers to um, help our students learn. By collecting common data, we're learning from each other about what's working well for them, what's working well for us, and having a common way of talking about it.